Welcome to DTX.com, your resource for everything Yamaha, electronic drums, and DTX gear related. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can layer up to four sounds on the Multi-12 curved pads utilizing the free Multi-12 Touch app. Now, for those of you who have never used the app before, there's an important video I've made where it shows you how to make sure the app is effectively communicating with the Multi-12 device. In order to do that, in order to send information back and forth and for it to work together, you need to make sure that you have the MIDI in and out ports set to USB. So I've attached a video link to that as well to this video. Be sure to check that out if you haven't done so yet because the rest is gonna be complicated if you haven't uh, uh, looked at that video yet. So first things first, with the Multi-12, you're gonna go ahead and choose, in this example anyhow, go ahead and choose a preset kit to your liking and send it over to the app. In this case, I'm going to choose preset number nine, which is the Oak Custom Kit. Now, if you look at the app and you look on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, you're going to see two Multi-12 icons, one with an arrow going out and going in. Now, I wanna make a point here, I think worth mentioning, is that all of our other apps with say the 402 series, the 502, the 700 work in real time or bi-directionally. The app with the Multi-12 does not work bi-directionally, okay? There's more steps involved with it. So we need to send our preset kit, in this case number nine, into the app to make the edits and so that we can easily layer up to four sounds using the Touch app instead of having to go menu diving and learning different button combinations to do that the old school way, so to speak. So we're gonna go ahead and press the Multi-12 icon that has the arrow going out because we're gonna be sending that information into the app. Once that's all loaded, you're gonna go ahead and choose the pad that you wanna layer up to four sounds with. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use the snare drum as an example. And I'm gonna press that on my app. And it's gonna bring up a screen and you're gonna see the word voice. Go ahead and press that. And at the very bottom of the next screen, you'll see an easy button and an advanced button. Go ahead and press the advanced tab. And at the very top, next to the word mode, you're gonna see the three options in which you can utilize these sounds, these layers. You can either stack them, alternate them, or hold them. Now stack, so I say I have four sounds on a pad. When I strike that pad, they're all gonna go off at the same time. If I choose to alternate them, they're gonna be played in sequential order and loop from one to four, one to four, over and over again or I can choose the hold method in which I strike the pad, all the sounds go off at the same time, but they're not gonna shut off until I strike the pad again to quiet them. So in this example, I'm gonna go ahead and use the alternate mode. Once you've chosen the mode that you wanna use, go back to the easy tab at the bottom of that, of, of that screen, and you're gonna see layer A, B, C, and D, and these represent all the different sounds that we can layer. In this case, I've already chosen four different kinds of snare drums. Now you can use more unique or more kind of far out sounds, electronic sounds, you can use kick drum cymbals. It's pretty much limited to your own imagination and you can use all the sounds, all the onboard sounds in the Multi-12 or you can even upload your own samples uh, via USB drive uh, or, or your own WAV files. In this case, I'm only gonna use the onboard sounds for this example. So once you have your layered sounds chosen, go ahead and exit out of that. And now from this point, you can go ahead and save the changes on the app that you've made, but now we have to send what we just did in the app back over to the Multi-12. So now looking at the bottom right-hand side of the screen again, you're gonna see an arrow pointing into the Multi-12. So now we wanna go ahead and press that. So now all that information has now been sent over to the Multi-12. Now this is usually the biggest mistake or the last step, so to speak, that a lot of folks forget to do They'll play the pad that they made the edits on, they'll hear the sounds, and then they'll scroll on to another preset or another user bank. They'll go back to preset, in this case nine, in my example, and they'll go to play that pad and none of those sounds are going off. They're not layered anymore. And that's because you've forgotten to store and save them in the Multi-12 as well. Because again, this doesn't work bi-directionally. There's more steps involved. So in order to save the changes you made, go ahead and hit store you're going to press enter, enter is going to be blinking, press enter again, and now you save that kit in the Multi-12 as a user bank and with the pad in which you've chosen to layer up to four sounds with. 
Let's check out an example now. So nothing overly exciting there, but again, just to show you the steps required to layer up to four sounds, which is much easier, by the way, using the app versus having to do it with just the multi-12 module. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope that was helpful. Be sure to visit the forum. We always love to hear from you. Leave us a comment. Keep drumming. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.